I got my boy Anthony in the cup. Hey, where the hoes at? We getting bitches tonight, bro. We getting hoes, bro. I smoke by a tree right now. I don't want this nigga smoking. So if you're not a complete social reject, you've probably been around girls at one point or another. Maybe at a party or school or wherever the case may be. And you know how the saying goes, with girls comes horny dudes. And with horny dudes comes the need to be somebody's ass. And I've been to a few functions in my life and I've met a huge array of people whom I've had many laughs and good moments with. However, those nice feelings go completely out the window when we're around a group of girls. Like for some of you, the beef is on sight. Like I'm swinging the second we lock eyes. It's no daps, it's only slaps. But it's like girls just flip a switch in some guy's head that completely turns off their normal personalities and just leaves them with one of four options for how they handle the interaction. So without further ado, here are the different type of guys you'll see around the hoes. Let's start off with the absolute saints, the absolute angels, the normal dudes. The dudes who aren't worried about pulling, the dudes who aren't interested in being the most alpha in the room, they spend time with the homies and casually speak to the girls. You know, like human beings. And I'm grateful to have many pretty good homies to chill with whenever at a function or in class or on a heist mission. And I'd say that I definitely fit into this category too. I can vouch for them. You need these types of people around you. They don't come easy, but they're your salvation when dealing with the other three types. Now, type two is in some ways similar to type one. You know, they stay with the group and they don't split off for some bullshit. However, that right there is also the issue. If we go to a function together, and the girls come around. I don't want to see you doing any fuck shit like this because you are being just as bad as a motherfucker who's gonna headlock me in front of the hoes. Like, I get it. Some people don't like parties or even social events in general. Some people just have it rougher socially and would rather stay indoors. That's fine. But brother, I don't even like parties. But you don't see me cooled up in a corner trying to avoid everyone. Like, I remember going to someone's birthday party in high school. And one of our boys, I shit you not, was on a sofa alone, as far away from the girls and everyone else as possible. And that was his riz! Like, come on, dog, you're ruining it for all of us. The girls are uncomfortable, and we take the embarrassment because you are a part of us. Also, the motherfuckers who fish for compliments, like they go, nah, I'm really ugly for real. Whether you're socially anxious or not, go straight to hell. Like, I ain't even joking, y'all are the most annoying people. Like, from one guy to another, when I see another man acting like a whole hoe, in front of the hoes! It gets my blood boiling, man. Like, just be a regular human. For the love of God, it'll save your life. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, you got the Duke Dennis regens trying to take every girl at the function. Like, brother, you can have yours, but stop being so greedy. We're in the spirit of giving around here, and you're just trying to vacuum every girl inside. You know what? I say vacuuming, but it's more like intercepting. Because some of these men are just straight cock blocks the way they just butt in and try to intervene your conversation. Like, I'm not exactly a shooter. Like, I don't be on that degenerate shit because, you know, high value men like me will wait till marriage. But whenever I do try and shoot, without fail, there will be some sort of cock block. Like, fuck off, man. I claim this one. There are so many to choose from. Why do you want this one? And while I'm on the topic of these great value brand knockoff Riz Kings, to my homies who leave the group to leech onto a group of gal, fuck you as well. Like, motherfuckers who disappear when they see pussy for the take and deserve the death penalty. Like, they be so annoying because they'll just blank you until the next morning to say they either bagged or fumbled. Like, bro, you left me alone with Mr. Scared of the Hose the whole night. I don't care. All right, we've covered the quote, Riz gods. And now we have the Antichrist of Riz. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Oh my god, man! Now, I wasn't really a tall or big person growing up. Like, my growing was and still is slower than most people my age. So I wasn't really as developed as most of the others around me. And the dominance games played on you by some of these rizless, holeless individuals is actually kind of crazy. Do you know how it feels getting headlocked by a guy twice your weight in front of the girls? Like, they know what they're doing. They don't do it anywhere else. Get some game, talk to the girls, and do your thing. Do not worry about what I'm doing. Also, this has never happened to me. But the people who do shit like, oh bro, am I driving you back again or what? Or some shit like that to try and embarrass their homies to get some laughs out of the girls. Y'all might be even worse because no girl has really laughed at me when I used to get headlocked and shit. Unless they were like really into the guy and then they'd say some shit like, stop, be not, yo, that was the worst. But like the jokes at others expense had like a 99% success rate. Granted, they somewhat liked you. Like, I remember this one dickhead mutual waited until the whole group was together to ask his friend, Hey, you gonna use my phone to call your mom again? Because I can drive you back. And the hoes were laughing! I didn't know the dude very well, 
But I felt bad for him at that moment. Like, that dickhead could have said it in private, but he chose to say it around everyone. That shit is foul. And to anyone who was like guy number three or four, y'all need to taste his bowl of soup. Sin, Sin City wasn't made for you.